Okay, 3.1 is the purpose of your Facebook content. It is super important to define the purpose of our Facebook content in order to stay on track with our goals, which is with our purpose. We wanna make sure every action and every update on our page leads to us achieving our goals. So you have to ask yourself, what is the specific objective of every single Facebook update that you post? Here's a guideline that I use and almost all successful pages also follow this, these strategies is 90% of the time you wanna be interacting with your fans and providing value to them. 10% of the time you wanna be guiding your fans to perform an action and taking value from them. Interacting, you wanna provide value to your fans. You wanna strengthen the relationship by offering valuable information or entertaining things that your fans like. In return, you wanna receive likes, comments, and shares, and you wanna create a strong symbiotic, so two-way relationship between you and all of your fans. Here's an example from Microsoft Store, who during the Super Bowl posted this picture with the title, Huddle Up, Who Are You Rooting For? Seahawks or Broncos? So Microsoft don't really get anything out of this apart from providing value to their fans and creating a stronger relationship where their fans will a stronger connection to their page. Here's a motivational quote by Nike, again, providing their likers with motivation. And as you can see, it's had 487 shares and over three and a half thousand people have liked this page. But as you can see, they're not expecting anything in return apart from strengthening the relationship and providing value to their fan base. Guiding fans is what you should be doing in 10% or less of your updates. So it could be directing fans to your website, answering surveys, or purchasing a product or service of yours. Essentially, your fans are gonna be supplying you with value, but if done correctly, it should also be giving them value. So it's never a hard sell. It should never appear to be taking value or taking time away from them, but instead encouraging your fans to take action. Let's have a look at this in some examples. The Microsoft Store, they put out uh, Titanfall and they allowed their fans to pre-order this. So again, they're selling their product, but as you can see how they phrased it, the future of warfare is now, pre-order Titanfall today with their link, 41 shares, I don't know how many likes, it's gonna be a couple of thousand. And again, they're essentially getting value from their fans, but their fans in return are getting something they want and genuinely care about. Here's the Nike Fuel Band. So again, Nike, this time they're not interacting, but they're guiding their fans to purchase the new Nike Fuel Band. They have written the smart, simple, and fun way to get more active. Again, they phrase this like they're providing value to the cu customer by helping them get more active and have fun. But essentially they're guiding their fan base to getting online and spending money on their product. So once again, this should be done less than 10% of the time and 90% of the time you should be posting updates to strengthen your relationships. I'll show you why in the next couple of segments.